Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the productivity tricks on the POCO F7 Ultra. Okay, so let's begin. So first we can go into our settings. Now let's scroll down a little bit. And so we find the additional settings. Okay, and here let's begin with the quick ball. So let's turn it on right in here. Make sure it's enabled. And in here, as you can see on the edge of the screen, on the right side, we have this small little icon. So open it up, simply tap on it. And that's how you enter the quick ball. But first, let me describe you how this works. So let's click on select shortcuts. And in here, we have options to go home, open up the menu, lock, take a screenshot, and then go back. So that's what I'm going to show you how this works. So let's open up the quick ball, which is giving us the quick access. So now when I'll tap the first one, I'll go to home. In here, I have the recent apps. In here, I turn off the screen. Okay. And in here, I take a screenshot. And I will go to the Chrome, for example, and click on this arrow. I'll simply go back. So that's how it works. But if you want, you can adjust those shortcuts. It doesn't need to be all of them. So for example, you don't want the home button and you can enable it for the Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, silent or lock orientation or other quick settings such as torch, long press the power button, clear cache or one hand mode. So let's say I'll switch it for the Wi-Fi. And now when I'll click it, as you can see, my Wi-Fi is now enabled. And if I'll click now, it's enabled. Okay, but let's get back again into the quick ball. Also below, you can change the preferred gesture. For now, it's tab, but you can select it on swipe. So now, when I swipe my finger and select one of those options, so now I'm pointing on the Wi-Fi. Oh, something doesn't want to work. Okay, my bad. Okay, never mind. Okay, also we have the hide automatically. You can enable some apps right in here. It's only up to you. You'll hide them basically in the selected apps. Okay, also we can enable move aside when full screen, stick to the edge after three seconds of inactivity. So when I'll open up the quick ball and I won't do nothing, it should hide itself. So let's wait. I don't know, it doesn't want to work for now, but let's do it again. So I'll tap once more and let's wait. Will it hide? Oh no, actually, I, I know why. So let's place it somewhere here and now it should disappear. Yeah, just like that. So that's how this option works. Okay, also we have something called wake up areas. For now it's default, but we can select the custom one. As you can see, adjust the size of the wake up areas near the screen edges. So in here, you can adjust the wake up areas. So it's up to you. I'll just leave on the default. Okay, next thing are the gesture shortcuts, such as launch digital assistant, take a screenshot, partial screenshot, launch camera and turn on torch. Okay, so to open up the digital assistant, simply let's hold the power button for half a second. Click on got it. Now let's again hold. And now, as you can see, the assistant has been enabled. Okay, now the screenshot. So we have two options enabled for now, which is volume down plus power, which is usually common op 
possible option how to take a screenshot and also we have the slide with the three fingers so i'm going to show you how all these options work so now let's begin with the two button combination okay so that's the first method and the second one is by sliding your three fingers just like that and that's how you take a screenshot okay now the partial screenshot so let's press and hold with three fingers and now we can adjust the size and select this part of the screen that we want to take screenshot of okay so now once you have selected simply click on save and also if you select you can start over share with those with the selected screenshot or also edit and you can in here change also the shape okay so i don't want to save it for now okay and now launch camera now it's disabled for now but we can enable it so by double pressing the power button we will launch the camera or when we will double press volume down when the screen is locked so when the screen is on when i'll double tap the power button the camera launches as you can see but when the screen is locked when i'll tap volume down twice also the app will launch so it's good it's a simple shortcut you don't need to you know find the camera switch between them let's say you're doing something in the chrome and you don't want to scroll down and look for the camera you just simply double tap and you get quickly into the camera app so it saves some time also with the quick ball it, it saves some time okay now let's go into the other features which let's begin with the split screen so to enable the split, split screen first let's open some apps let it be notes and for example do, 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 calculator so now to open up the split screen mode simply click on the recent apps hold on one of the apps and this split screen is this icon right in here with those two rectangles split in half so now on the top we have our notes and now we want to select other another app it doesn't need to be calculator you can basically select anything you want but i will tell you in the big that not all of the apps work in the split screen mode so i'm gonna use the calculator and now as you can see we have our screen split in half and on the top we have the calculator the notes sorry and on below we have the calculator so it's really good and convenient option because when I'm, I can count on this edge of the screen and I can quickly also take some notes so I don't need to again switch between all of those apps I can use them basically at the same time so it's also a cool feature if you want to save some time and improve your productivity okay now we have also something called the floating windows which i'm going to show you so to open up the floating windows let's go again into the recent apps now let's hold again on the notes and the the floating windows are this option this icon right in here okay and now as you can see we have our notes in the floating window but we can still do some other stuff on our phone for example we can enter up the chrome still do our stuff and we want to if you, if you want to type something in the notes you simply click on them just like i did one second before and i can still type then boom i can go quickly back again into the chrome and do my other stuff okay and to adjust the size of the floating window you just need to simply hold on the bottom edge of the screen of this icon and now move your finger to adjust the size also if you click on it you can if you want to change the position on the screen simply hold when on this area when those three buttons three dots are placed and you can adjust the placement on the screen and if you want to get rid of that simply hold it
and now that's how you get rid of that and also if you want to get back into the full screen grab on the edge slide into the right into the top corner release and now we are again in the full screen okay so let's go into the settings again to the additional okay now we also have something called one-handed mode which is recommended when you're using your phone in one hand simply enable it right in here and to turn it on simply swipe left or right from the center of the navigation panel bar so that's what i'm gonna do now oh i don't know why it doesn't work for now did i enable it just let me check back into the additional settings one-handed mode Oh, now, now it works. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have this one-handed mode, which is more comfortable when we are using one hand. And you can still do some other stuff, you know. For example, I'm the WhatsApp, but as you can see, WhatsApp doesn't work in the floating mode, but let's enter the Google Chrome. So you can see, not, not, all, not all, all apps work in the split screen mode. But that's how you enter it. So now let's enter it again. Okay, and when we are in this mode, if you want to disable it, simply click on this gray area on the top. Okay. Also, we have something called circle to search. So that's what I'm gonna show you now, but I'm not connected into the Wi-Fi, so just let me do it. Okay, and to enable circle to search, simply hold the home button. And now we are in this, this mode. And basically in here, you can circle or tap anywhere to search. So let's select the find my device, for example, let's release our finger. And in here, as you can see, automatically the Google browser enabled and we have our results of the searching. There are also other features. You can also use a speech to type something in the Google. You don't need to enter the Google manually. You can simply hold the power button and in here type anything you want or use the voice comments. And in here also you can use this option to translate the text. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna show you is the Gemini Assistant, which is also a convenient option to save time and boost your productivity. Okay, to launch it, simply let's hold the power button for half second. And to use the AI, you can use your normal keyboard or you can use voice comments. So let's say, you want to get no something, but you don't want to waste time by searching it in the Google by yourself. You can simply ask AI to do it for you. So, let's say you are hungry and you're looking for the, and you're looking for something for dinner, and you don't know. Let's say you want the pizza and you don't know how to cook it. So, we can basically ask the AI for a recipe. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Give me a recipe for pizza, please. Oh, but first you need to... Oh, okay, now it works. I thought you might have tapped on the microphone button once again, but... And no matter. Here's a recipe for a classic homemade pizza. Okay, and now as you can see, we also have the... the sound of it. And now we have our... pizza recipe. Within... a few seconds. Okay. So that's all in this video, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.